Well, good morning, everyone. We made a quick trip to the Aldi Shopping Center, and we got there as soon as they opened because I like filming when there's nobody around. I noticed there were a lot of good deals, and of course, like everything in life, there was a lot of expenses. I only needed a few items, and I was going to price some other items. As you can see, I am a very quick shopper. I don't like to hang around at the grocery store. I like to get what I need and keep moving. I noticed that their milk and all their products that were milk-based were the regular price. They were not too expensive. The dairy wasn't bad. The vegetables were really high priced, most of them. But what I really noticed most of all was all of the convenience food doubled in price. So prepackaged food and freezer meals. I did see these cherries that were canned and I thought, wow, that would be fun to do that at, on my channel. The cheese and the dairy, like I said, was not that bad a deal. Now in our area, of course, that is. From town to town, our Audi has a difference in prices. But all of these frozen pizzas and all of this convenience food, I just passed on by because it was way above my budget. Extremely expensive. And I noticed the packaging was also a lot smaller. So I was looking at some other things where I could get some deals. And I saw that they had the chicken breast for $2.49. That wasn't too bad. And so I picked one up. Now, of course, they did have a limit on how many you could buy, but I understand that. That's to keep people from hoarding, and that gives us a chance to get it. But then I saw the bone-in chicken that was $1.69, and the family packs of chicken were $1.99. You have to really watch your prices. You have to keep an eye out because just because it's chicken breast doesn't mean it's all the same price. But the beef, well, I had to let that go. The beef was way too expensive. All in all, I felt like the prices weren't too bad, but canned fish? Ooh, the vegetables now here, we got a deal. More like a steal, and there was no limit on them. So I grabbed some of them up and took a flyer for on the way home. As you can see, I didn't buy very much. So I'm done going to the Aldi store and when I get home we're going to talk a little bit about what I think, how things have changed, how some things have stayed the same and was I impressed and I did get some deals. I'm telling you though, things are really different from when I used to go shopping every single week at Aldi. It's been months since I've been to an Aldi store and I wasn't able to get too much but I did get some things that I'm really impressed by. But let me tell you what, we're living in a different world than what we did even a year ago. Well, let's take a look and see what I got. Now, I only got a few items that I actually needed on my list. The corn was 57 cents, that was clearance. That is a good deal. I did get two of them. I do have canned corn, but I did get two of them because I wanted to show you in a video some deals that you can get. This went up by 40 cents for us. I paid $1.49. That is a lot more expensive. The cream cheeses are the same at 79 cents. So that was okay, it was a good deal. All right, so a really good deal I got was the chicken for $1.99 a pound. This is a lot of chicken. And I'm going to use this chicken to make chicken fingers, which will make me lots of them, because we're gonna cut this, we're gonna slice them thin and we're going to cut them down so this is going to be a video for ten dollars and 96 cents this is going to give us many the chicken was a good deal their cheese was a dollar 49 that's the same as what i remember salad dressings really went out price i used to last time they were 89 cents now they're dollar 49 wise is i can get this cheaper 
Wise's, I can get their cream cheese for a dollar. So everything so far was cheaper still at Audi. Now the pretzels were 69 cents. I can't find that cheaper anywhere else. Maybe the discount grocery store, but then probably not too much cheaper than that. I did get one package of bagels for $1.49. That was the same price. Celery was $1.29. That is very reasonable compared to Wise's or Wise Markets. And then I got a turkey stuffing for $0.69 because I want to make a casserole with that. That was a good deal. All right, so now I'm going to make the chicken fingers. I have a full tutorial video on that. I will share that at the end of this video. So I don't always repeat myself. I don't always share the same video over and over again. But what we do is to save money, we're gonna cut those chicken breasts and we're gonna stretch them as far as we possibly can. Basically all we do is we cut them up in strips and then we're gonna dip it into ranch dressing and then we're gonna dip it into bread crumbs, or in this case, we have cornflake crumbs. I trim all the fat off of it because we don't like eating excess fat. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, me showing you how for $10, I'm going to be making multiple meals for multiple people. It is amazing how you still can have great deals. You just got to think outside the box and you got to learn ways to save money. And the fat that you see me cutting off, I'm actually throwing that into a bucket and that bucket then goes to the chickens. We mix that with their feed and they love it. So we're going to continue on cutting this up and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. Bye everybody. And remember the video on how to make these chicken fingers step by step will be found at the end of this video. Everybody, if you like videos like I do about prepping with little money, take a look over here and over here. I have lots of videos that teaches you how to prepare for anything that may come our way with an economic collapse or even without electricity. They're very unique videos. See you guys tomorrow.